Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I will be talking about a simple problem called Array of Doubled Pairs. Its index is 954 and it is a medium type problem of the lead code, right? Okay, so let's discuss this problem without wasting our time. Uh, we will be given an array of integers. ARR, it's uh, like it is being denoted by ARR of even length. Note that the array length is even, okay? And we have to return true on a certain condition if and only if it is possible to reorder the array element such that uh, this condition holds for every i belongs to 0 to half the array length you can see over here okay so we have to check it out and return true or false based on the condition that if we are able to reorder the elements of this array such that every element such that for every index i that is going to belong from 0 to half the length of the array both inclusive such that uh, the element satisfy this relation at the respective indices if it is yes then we are going to return true otherwise we are going to return false okay so the condition here is uh, written in like some general format if uh, we are trying to put some values of i and we are going to expand it out then we can easily understand this problem and this becomes an very simpler problem okay so for now let's head over to the constraints then we uh, then we can like understand which type of solution this uh, problem is going to accept you can see that array length is like 10 power 4 okay so if array length is like uh, 10 power 4 you can have a o of n or o of n log n solution o of n squared solution is not going to pass and the only benefit is like array length is even it's uh, like uh, it is not uh, being benefited like uh, for every two elements this condition must satisfy that's why it is being given as even okay and the array values are between minus 10 raised to the power 5 to 10 raised to the power 5 and this is being a quite tricky part because to handle the negative numbers like we are handling the negative numbers separately you can do that in the same uh, like uh, while iterating for the very first time we are going to store the frequency you can do that but uh, what I have done in this uh, like while solving this problem is like I have considered negative numbers separately and positive numbers separately which becomes like uh, which makes our solution easier to understand and easier to code also okay so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of examples then we are going to together build up the best solution for this problem so let's move further okay so let's first write down the mathematical statement that is being given over here you can see that when i will put i equal to zero over here so it becomes like uh, array of 1 okay so let's say right a of 1 is like twice of a of 0 and similarly if i will put i equal to 1 it becomes like uh, a of 3 is exactly equal to twice of a of okay so what is say over if i will put 1 it would becomes 2 and and so on you can also see that it becomes like a of 5 is exactly equal to 2 times of uh, a of 4 like uh, uh, we want to reorder the elements of this array like to any format that we want so it means that if i will be able to pick two elements like this one let's say x x is one of the element and then y is another the element then if i will be able to pick two elements such that uh, they are x and y and x and y are satisfying this relation so, uh, like x is 2 times of y Okay, if we are being able to pick up two elements from this given array uh, such that this relation is going to hold then we can say that yes we can build up one pair note that we have to build up all the pairs like i is going to vary from zero to length half of the length of the array then we are going to build up all those pairs like all those pairs is going to exist then we are going to return true otherwise we are going to return false okay so let's pick up uh, some example in which the answer is coming as true like this one 4 minus 2 2 and minus 4 okay so let's move over to the next page like 4 minus 2 and it's like minus 4 and uh, what is that 4 minus 2 minus 4 and 2 okay so what is like uh, if you will write down the relations it is like uh, a of 1 must be equal to 2 times of a of 0 and a of 3 must be equal to 2 times of a of 2 okay now it means that we have to write down 4 elements at these specific positions 
such that the uh, like uh, the condition is going to hold true for every pairs okay so what i am going to do is like i am going to pick up the pairs and how it is going to be done you can see that when i will pick up four there is an element with whose value is just half of this value you can see it is two so it means that if i will write a1 as four and i will say that a0 becomes two you can see that this relation is going to be satisfied right and similarly if i will say i am going to write down a3 that is this one as minus 4 and i will say yes a2 is going to be like minus 2 then you can see that a3 is actually the two times of this a2 which is minus 4 is exactly equal to twice of minus 2 which is correct so this pair is going to be satisfied this pair is going to be satisfied it means that we have this as our answer note that there can be multiple solutions we need to write down we need to return true or false checking whether it is possible or not so i guess you guys must have been like uh, aware about what is what could be the best approach to solve this problem okay so let's move further to understand the approach to solve this problem okay so like uh, if uh, let me write down the conditions first if a1 is like twice of a0 and let me write down one more if a3 is like of uh, twice of uh, a2 okay now just uh, like uh, it means that when we are iterating in this array and whenever we find some element let's call it as x and let me check it out if uh, x by 2 is going to exist note that x should be even in this case right uh, in other words let me uh, explain in a different panel like uh, you should have to find out two pairs and, uh, for, and for every uh, element from our given array if the parity of that element is going to be even and if another element is going to exist such that whose value is like x by 2 then we are going to pick up uh, this element current element x and then we are going to pick another element x by 2 also okay now the thing is like uh, how we are going to pick up that element efficiently and maintain the like keep track of the elements so the best way is to do is like sort the array okay so suppose we have sorted the array in like uh, in increasing order okay then what will the uh, like array look like so it is like minus 4 minus 2 and 2 and 4 let's say i'm sorting the previous example like over here okay so suppose this is our new array since i have sorted in like uh, increasing order then if i will keep track of first negative elements then followed by positive elements okay now the thing is like when you start iterating from 0 i equal to 0 up to any index such that now it is like uh, i am focusing on the negative elements first okay now you can see that suppose we have some uh, like some conditions like minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 okay so we need to check it out if we are at a certain elements n u m or num then i need to check it out if num by 2 exist or not okay so what I am going to do is if I am at here like minus 8 I need to check it out if minus 4 is going to exist or not okay but we are still at this point of iteration to check it out efficiently I am going to check in a reverse case like if we are at a certain element let's say num then I am going to check if num into 2 is going to exist or not if it is existing then we have the pair like num and num into 2 right and it is going to be like very much easy to search for this pair how it is going to be done start iterating from the left hand side and suppose we are at this point of iteration like we are at current, uh, currently dealing with minus 4 then what i am going to do, uh, do is like i am going to check out if num into 2 is going to exist or not like we have already gone through all these elements we are going to put these elements in a hash map use an unordered map and we are going to keep track whether this num into 2 is going to exist or not if it is existing then we can say that yes we have a particular pair minus 8 and minus 4 but uh, when you are trying to traverse in a similar manner for the positive elements like this one then you are not going to get the uh, like uh, correct answer we need to travel for the for the case of positive elements what we are going to do we are going to traverse from the back side okay and the reason is like when you are suppose you are at this element equal to 2 and uh, you need to check it out num into 2 right 
and if you are traversing element from the left hand side you can see that num into 2 is like 4 but 4 is present on the right side of the current position okay since the elements are greater uh, in like if you call out the absolute value of the elements in case of uh, negative also in case of positive also like in case of positive if you call out for the absolute value of the elements like absolute value of the elements is greater on the right side okay so that's why you need to traverse from the back side of the array in case of positive elements like in case of negative elements you need to traverse from the beginning of this array okay so let me take another small example like we have some positive element 2468 okay or let's say uh, let's say 3 6 and 4 and 8 okay suppose we have positive elements sorted in this order and suppose you are going to have at this position then you need to check it out if 6 is going to exist or not because 3 into 2 is exactly equal to 6 but 6 is present on the right side how you are going to keep track of the elements in that case that's why i've said that we need to track from the back side okay suppose we are at here 8 then we are going to check whether 16 is going to exist or not obviously it is not so then we are going to skip it and put 8 into a hash map then come back to 6 check out 12 is existing or not yes it is not existing put 6 into hash map now hash map contains 6 and 8 now come back to this one and check it out 4 into 2 that is 8 is going to exist or not note that 6 and 8 is the current state of hash map yes 8 is going to exist then we are going to discard this element from the hash map and not going to insert this element into the hash map it means that finally we are only having this 6 element at this point of iteration in our hash map and 4 and 8 is a valid pair okay and let's come out to this one you can see 3 into 6 is also existing then we can easily say yes this is discarded and 3 6 becomes a valid pair and hash map becomes empty so this is the thing you are going to do overall for the case of negative elements traverse from the left hand side of the array for the case of positive elements traverse from the right side of the array since we need to find out num into 2 that is the current element into 2 and uh, we need to keep track of the elements also that's why we are going to do that okay so let's head over to the code to understand this entire implementation in the best possible way okay so i've already submitted the code yeah you can see first i will get wrong answer because of a small mistake i don't know okay so let me just uh, yeah let me just move this one so what i've done is like i maintain an unordered map to keep track of the elements now first i've sorted the elements in an increasing order and then i find uh, then i find the index where the like partition of negative elements is like on the left side and the uh, all the positive elements is on the right side of this partition you can see that i have taken the lower bound which is going to do the same thing lower bound of this element zero okay and uh, i trade for all those elements up uh, for the negative elements i am going to do the first you can see that when i have just uh, when i had a particular current element what i am going to i am check it out if the current element into two is going to exist in our hash map or not if it is then increment like sorry it's uh, we are going to decrement its frequency and uh, note that if the frequency is becoming zero we are going to erase the entry from the hash map okay and otherwise like if the current element into two like twice of the current element is not going to exist we are going to increment its uh, frequency in our hash map like we are going to keep track of the elements that are being visited so far and being not used since like when array of i into 2 is going to exist we are going to yes, say that yes there exists a valid pair that is the current element and the current element into 2 which is whose index is like the uh, which has already been occurred okay that is why we, uh, it is being stored in the hash map okay and now if all these going to be happened we need to do for the positive ones like back side of this array and check it out if the current element into 2 is going to exist or not yes it is existing decrement its frequency and if it is becoming zero just erase its entry from the map otherwise you need to store that element for the future purposes okay and finally check it out if map is empty it means that all the elements like all the n by 2 pairs have been formed it means that map will remain empty and in that case uh, we are going to return true otherwise if there exists at least one element which is not going to be involved in any of the pairs in that case our map will remain non-empty and in that case it will automatically return false as our answer which is correct okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe
subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video